All right, lads, back on the Z1B today. Uh, Sean here from Hammerhead. Um, today we're working on the carburetors and trying to get them dialed in. So I just want to show you guys a few things that you need to know of when you're working on any carburetor, but motorcycle specific, ATV, whatever it is. Um, you want to have the information. Okay, you need the right the right info. So I went and looked in my book and got the information that I need. It includes everything I need to know about these carburetors. The make, model of the carb, float height, air screw settings, pilot jet, main jet, needle jet, jet needle, pilot jet, air screw turns out, and a schematic of the carburetor itself, in case I'm missing anything. Now this is a float height tool. To check the float height on the carburetors, you basically Put them on like that to check the height of the floats. It's in millimeters. Also, you want to take the carbs and you want to move them around so that you can see that the floats are all moving, that there's none of them that are stuck. This one's sticking. You guys can see that. Okay, it just became unstuck. But you want to move them up and down, make sure that the floats all move. What I'll do too is I'll put fuel in the carburetors. Then I'll turn them up like that and shut the shut the valves by hand. Make sure that they all close and the fuel stops. Set the float height. Uh, for a sticking float like this one, what I'll do is I'll take the pin out and I'll take some um, steel wool and I'll just polish the pin. Make sure that it um, it, it doesn't actually stick. So you got a float check tool to check the float heights. Um, all the jets are clean. I've blown out all the jets. Uh, you can get the jet numbers here just to make sure that you've got the right needle jets and the right pilot jets. There's numbers on them. Check all those. Make sure that somebody hasn't changed them from stock. I know they haven't been because I worked on these last, so they're correct. But it's always something to keep in mind, boys, because you never know who worked on the machine and what jet, what pilot jets in it, what main jets in it. I've seen people drill out, drill out jets as well and fuels coming out of the pipes while the thing's trying to run. Things like that, right? But uh, you got to be very specific. You got to know exactly what it is you're working on. Um, this is not a time to get, to get fast. You want to slow down at this stage and make sure everything's done right. So anyway, uh, bear with me fellas. I'll charge the camera here. She's going to die. And then uh, we'll get the carburetors back on the machine here and uh, see what we get. All right, thumbs up for Warham, stay classy. Okay, guys, I uh, got the carburetors back on, got uh, all the air screws set, one and a half turns out from lightly seated. Throttle cable is on. I got three to five millimeters of free play at the throttle. It opens and returns nicely. Linkage is all lubricated. Fuel tank's on, petcock's on. Um, I had to lubricate a few things, put the kickstarter back on, lubricate all the pegs and stuff. This bike's been sitting for about a year or two. So, alright, so all I got left to do is pour gas in it and change the oil and filter and we'll see what I get going here. Um, it likely won't